what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so I asked you guys on Instagram whether you wanted to see a beauty video or a photography video and literally I was kind of surprised that you guys picked photography I'm freaking down. I thought that you guys would pick beauty, but that just goes to show that YouTube is freaking changing and more people are inst interested in this kind of stuff, which is so fun to me. So if you haven't seen on my Instagram, I recently did a portrait photo shoot of my best friend in a milk bath and your response to that was so overwhelmingly insane. It was like so loving and I appreciate that so much for anyone who commented, for anyone who liked, for anyone who texted me and was like, yo those are awesome i really really appreciate you so i wanted to give you a few tips and tricks today on what i learned from that photo shoot so that you can go out and do the exact same thing for yourself and you can try it out and you can take cool photos i'm really excited to see what you guys do with it so before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up smash the bell all that do all that and we'll jump right into the video so i want to start off by if you haven't seen those photos they're up on my instagram i'm gonna stick my instagram right here so that you guys can go check them out I'm also going to pop some of the photos up on the screen so you guys can see like what I'm talking about before I go and talk about it. So these are some of the pictures that I took. Our bathtub is disgusting just because I'm in a dorm and it's kind of gross. But we do have like apartments that are a couple feet away from us. So I texted one of the girls that I knew and I was like, hey, can we please use your bathtub? It probably looks better than ours does. And she was like, yeah, sure. Come on over. So I got three cartons of milk. Cartons? I got three jugs. <laughs> I got three jugs of milk and two things of flowers. I filled the tub up about halfway with water and we took probably 60 pictures just with the water in there. There was nothing else in there. We didn't add anything. Then we started adding flowers and then we added a little bit of milk, a little bit more milk, a little bit more. So throughout the shots it just seems like there's so many different aspects to the pictures because we did things in such a slow thought out process i'm going to give you three things that i learned through this process was one what i just told you make it a slow build up try to get as many shots in as many different ways as you can don't just stick your model in there and dump all the milk in at first because then you're limited to just the milk you can't reverse it take shots in just water take shots with water and flowers take shots with water milk and flowers just a little bit and make sure you get those shots like right when you start pouring the milk in and it gives that really cool texture where you can kind of see the the water start to cloud up make sure you get those shots second thing is make your model feel as comfortable as possible like they are laying in milk for you so make sure that you're keeping the water as warm as you can for them without it being hot like the water can't be hot or else your milk your milk is gonna get gross but for us like i said we did the hot water first and it was just hot water and so we took those shots and while we were getting those shots the water kind of cooled down a little bit but it was still warm so throughout the entire shoot she felt comfortable she was warm going along with that make sure that she wears an outfit that will complement the photos that you're trying to get but will also make her feel extremely beautiful laugh with them make jokes make them feel like hey this is actually really really fun the last thing that I would suggest is bring a form of light whether that be like a softbox light or what I brought with me was this just like ring light. What I would do is I would just like hold it right above her and then like I would shoot. I can't even show you guys. <laughs> I would like take it. Let's say you are the model. I would take it and hold it over her and take the shots. Make sure that you get a bathtub that has like a ledge all the way around. There were so many times where I stood on the ledge like hovering over the water with this thing and it really helped out. Bathrooms usually have really really sucky lighting so if you go in there just expecting like hey we're gonna get some really cool shots without bringing another form of light it's it's not gonna be worth it and you're probably not going to get the shot that you want to take. If you guys want more information on this kind of stuff, I really wish I had taken some actual videos of this 
that was just dumb on my part. But if you do want more information, please let me know down in the comments. I can make another video on this. I can do another shoot like this and try to like walk you through it. I have not only the Instagram that I posted earlier, but I also have a photography Instagram. It's just now starting. It's just now kicking up. But if you also want to go follow that, I'm going to put that right here. All my stuff is going to be in the description down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that bell. Whatever you want to do, all the buttons, press those down below. I hope that this inspired you to get out there, go take those pictures. Even if it is your first time doing this, don't be scared. You're going to get a good shot. Like, I know you're going to kill it. So go out there and try this for yourself. Tag me in the pictures. If you take pictures like this, I want to see them. So tag me in them and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.